Alright guys, um, been working on the CNC machine. This is the X carriage, or, well, the Z carriage, I mean. So, uh, well, X and Z. So this right here, these two, let me pull back a little bit so you can see it. These two are the X axis, and this is the Z axis. And each, uh, each rail has three bearings, so each axis has a total of six bearings. So, uh, so we, so that's the Z. This is obviously this is what holds the the actual spindle motor. So normally, this would be pretty far down. Like it'd be like this far down to reach the the actual work table, so uh, it's going to spend a lot of time down that that far down. You know, it's not going to be all the way up. But uh, so I got this half inch thick aluminum, and then as far as rigidity goes, got the half inch thick aluminum quarter inch thick aluminum for this mount and then this is almost this is uh, 20 millimeters of hardened steel so once these are all bolt once this is these uh, rails are bolted to this half inch aluminum they'll contribute to the structural rigidity of this plate and then you know this this uh, spindle holder is uh, uh, not quite a half inch thick, so that helps for twisting. And uh, and then the bearings are going to have to do the rest on twisting towards the top. I mean, if I do have a problem with uh, structural rigidity of this piece here, I mean, I can add more to it. I mean, this is all going to be blank, really, on this side, on the, the outside. And so I could add more if it if it has too much twist or, or flex or something, but I I don't think that's going to be an issue. So we can go we can go x axis and and z axis. And each axis has six bearings so I don't have this uh, drilled and bolted yet so let me pull this off so uh, that's how I did it I had the two and then I had to leave a space and then one And I did it to where all the uh, the bearing adjustments are on the outside and then it's the same way with well on these I, they're all together so uh, there's a three in a row across this six and a half inch piece there was a I'm missing if you notice I'm missing some bolts uh, I ran out of bolts because I initially I was just going to use uh, two bearing blocks per rail and then I figured well fuck for 20 bucks I can throw in a third on each rail you know so now it's got six instead of four on each axis I'm gonna do the same with the uh, with the bed so yeah I've got the once I and I had to cut out this these sides just got done doing that to get everything to fit right because these bolt heads to make clearance for the bolt heads oh, throw this back on here so yeah I'm gonna have to uh, get this all lined and drill the holes to mount the rails to this uh, panel and once that's done that will be the, all the hard part done with the X or with the the main carriage system and I'm probably going to 
add extra mounting holes in this area close to the spindle just to make it more rigid and connected to the rail better because I mean if you look I mean we only got well because I had this cut out we got one pair of holes you know that not very many holes to hold it nice and tight so I might add a couple extra not sure yet so yeah there's uh there's a spindle carriage the X and Z axis coming together and uh, I will have to now once I get this this plate drilled for these rails this plate is going to have the uh, the screw the screw uh, part on it too so I'm gonna have to mount that yet <clears throat> so if we go into here now well, that was a big problem because yeah I forgot to mention that drilling all 48 of these holes all perfectly aligned on this plate was a huge ordeal you know I thought yeah I'll just uh, I'll do them on my little CNC machine and they'll be uh, they'll be nice and uh, aligned well no uh, I kept breaking drill bits because I, I laid out the whole pattern for all them bolt holes and tried to do it with this little guy and the problem is it has too much flex you know the motor was doing good I was I was pretty pretty surprised and happy about the motor the motor kept up fine drilling through half inch aluminum it's just it had so it has so much flex once it got down into the aluminum it, it you know that it made the bit crooked and it'd break the bit so after I broke both the bits I had I just put a, a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a, an engraving bit, of, an engraving V bit, and I just used that to mark where the holes should be, and then I took that whole plate out with all the marks on where the drill holes should be, and then I took that out to the shop and used the drill press to do that. And uh, so that little CNC didn't really help a whole lot. It marked where the holes should be. So uh, here's the, the base table. I got all the holes for the bearings dr drilled on this. And I haven't really did much more than that. But I got the holes drilled for the bearings. It's also going to have three bearings. And for it to have the reach I want it to have, I had to put them, you know only this far apart I would have liked to put them further apart but then I would lose uh, travel so uh, which would be the y-axis travel so yeah I wanted a full 18 inches of travel so I had to put them this close together so I got three bearings on each side so every axis on my machine is going to have six six bearing blocks so uh, it should be a beefy setup and um, I might weld the the base part I got the base part out at the shop and I might weld that today I'm not sure but uh, I'm not quite to the point to I've got to do all this in a certain order to get everything to align correctly and and I ran into a point to where I was like, man, I can't do anything more until I get this this uh, spindle carriage part done. So I had to, and I've been slacking on that part, and I've been focusing on the steel frame and the and stuff. But I can't weld the steel frame together until I got this done, so I can put everything, mock everything up, and make sure it's all going to be aligned correctly when I weld it. So it's kind of an order of doing things problem. So, uh, but it's coming together, slowly but surely. Um, got everything to run the new fuse, uh, the new uh, breaker box. Uh, we just gotta do it one of these days, and uh, it's been raining too much, really. So, 
But yeah, sooner or later this thing will be coming together. Alright, later.